Okay, welcome to week two. Our first workout for the week, we are going into a strength-based session. All right, it is full body weight. If you do want to elevate your workout, you can find some equipment around the house. Um, and all you need is a chair or a step or a bench um, to facilitate you in some of the movements. But before we get started, we're going to go into a warm up. We've got two movements. We're working through three rounds with 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off to get our heart rate up, feel nice and warm within the body and prime us for the movements ahead. All right, so movement number one, we are going into the lateral step. We're gonna set our feet up, hip width apart, hips back and down, chest open, big step to the right, and then big step to the left, staying low as we go left to right, really pushing off that outside foot and outside leg as we go across. All right, our 30 seconds start in three, two, one, getting low, big to bigger. Good, pushing off that outside foot, outside leg, keep those knees apart and remembering as always, keep that chest long and strong and broad. Our second movement that we're going to go into is some shoulder rolls. We're going to, do about, going to do about three or four each side as we roll through. All right, let's get into it. Elbow up and around, making big shoulder circles with that elbow. Go clockwise, counterclockwise, three to four, and then swap on over. Good. Elbow high, wide, big circles with that elbow. Clockwise, counterclockwise, three each side, each way, and then swap it over. All right, that is one round done. We're going into our second round. We've got our lateral steps again, hips back, chest broad, big to bigger. Let's get into it. And you don't need to go as far as you can. Semi-step or mid-step, wider, wider than that stance you're in is perfectly fine. It's all about that push and engaging through that outside. Awesome work. And now we have our shoulder rolls again. All right, shake it off. All right, elbows to hand or hands to, uh, hands to chin, up and over with that shoulder, making big circles. Clockwise, counterclockwise, forwards and back. Get that mobility through those shoulders as we go through. Maybe start to make them a little bit bigger this time. Big up and over, doing well. Good work. Okay, we're going to our third round. Back to our lateral steps. Chest broad, hips down and back, left and then to right. Keep that chest proud. Almost there, keep pushing through. Big step to the left, big to the right. All right, and then we're into our final shoulder rolls. Big elbow circles. Let's get into it. Elbows up and over. Hopefully we're feeling nice and warm right now. We're about to get ready into our strength workout. Okay, hopefully you're feeling nice and warm and ready to get into the strength component of this workout. 
So all you will need handy is a chair and if you want to elevate your workout, you can find some weights around the house. This workout is comprised of four movements. Four movements, three rounds, and you're working for uh, 40 seconds on and then 20 seconds rest in between. Okay, movement number one that we're gonna go into is a seat to stand. All right, so we're gonna get into it. Make sure you've got your chair ready. All right, sit to stand. You should have done this in week one. Sitting down, hips back, chest broad, and big strong standing up through those glutes. Lead with those hips and then stand tall. Okay, getting ready. Here we go, hips back. Hinge forward, squeeze those glutes, standing up nice and tall. You can have those arms forward to help you create that center of gravity right in the middle of the body to help you come up. And if you like, you've got that option to go unassisted with no chair behind you. Hips back and squeeze to stand. Remember to squeeze those glutes. You're over halfway now. All right, so we're going into our second movement. It is a seated overhead shoulder press. So you're gonna plant your feet on that chair, uh, sorry, on the ground while you're sitting on the chair. Chest is up nice and tall. You're gonna have your palms facing your body to start with, just around chin height. And to start with, maybe do no weights at all like I'm doing here. And then we're gonna extend and press up overhead one hand, rotating that hand so it faces the room, bring it back down towards your chin and then alternating into the other side. Big, strong press overhead. If you can, we wanna keep that elbow in line with the ear as we press, okay? Alternating between the two. All right, so we're getting ready. We're going in three, two, one. Big, strong press overhead for 40 seconds. Big press to the sky, knowing your range as well. If you can't go all the way up, that's fine. Bring it down, just work to your range if it is a little bit smaller. Remembering now, if you wanna elevate, you can add some weights, start light and progress and get creative with whatever you can find around the house. All right, standing up, our next movement, we are going into the sumo squat. So with our feet a little bit wider than hip width apart now, our chest stays broad, and we're just sinking those hips down and then up again. You might be really limited by flexibility, and that is okay. When you're ready, join me and follow along in this movement. Hips down, squeeze the glutes and stand up. Noticing you want those knees to track over those toes and in line with those toes, avoiding those knees diving in, just really push them out, open up through the pelvis. And keep that chest nice and broad, you're doing really well, already halfway there. Cool. So our next movement we are going into is our seated position. We're going into a lateral raise. So as we sit nice and comfortably, keep that chest up nice and tall, hands by your side to start, shoulders down, and then we're just going to add, elevate through those hands and then come back down again. Those hands should go just below the shoulders, not above, just below and come back down. Another little tip I'd like to give you is to keep those shoulders back and down. All right, I don't want you to slant, slouch forward. So really puff that chest out as we start this movement and maintaining that tension throughout, okay? We are gonna get straight on into it. 40 seconds. Good, remembering to keep those shoulders pinned back, chest open. Okay. 
Okay, we're going into our second round now. So remember our first movement was that sit to stand. So plant yourselves on that chair, keep that chest open, getting ready. Good, hips back, squeeze those glutes as we come into that stand. Try and keep those knees really, really steady as we go into that stand up position. If you're finding this a little bit easy, remove the chair or maybe spend a little bit less time touching that chair. So you just kiss and go. Our next movement, okay, is our seated overhead press. Plant those feet, chest up tall, palms facing you. All right, when we're ready, we're going into that overhead press. Let's go. Remember, if you feel capable to do so, get creative with the weights in the home and go into those overhead presses. Keep that chest up, palms face the roof when you, or palms face the room when you press up overhead. All the way now, keep pushing, keep pressing. Enjoy your rest. We're going into our sumo squat. Feet set wide, chest is open, hips go straight down and keep those knees out. Let's go. Good. You might really start to feel that the inner thighs uh, feeling a little bit limited in their flexibility and that is okay. Just go to whatever range you can, uh, you can complete and you might find each set that you go through, you start to build a little bit more flexibility and get a little bit lower each time. All right, taking your seat back down again. We're going into that second round of these lateral raises, plant the feet, chest up nice and tall, shoulders pinned back. And then when you're into it, we're going into those lateral raises. Keep those shoulders down and back behind you. So creating a little bit of tension in between the shoulder blades to really open that chest up. Good, keep working, keep squeezing between the shoulder blades, posture nice and tall. All right, we're going into round number three now. Sit to stand, you know what to do. Know the elevation if you wanna change it up a little bit. We have those air squats or just spending a little bit less time on that chair and just push those hips back and standing up nice and tall. Good. Stay strong through the knees, strong through the ankles. Halfway there. Keep that chest really broad, moving all the way through to the end.
Nice work, all right. So we go into that overhead press, getting ready. Palms facing you, chest is tall. Squeeze those shoulder blades back and down to start. And then we are going into that overhead press. Alternating left to right, palms facing you, palms face the room. Good, we are halfway, we're doing well. Keep that midsection really tight and tall. Great stuff. All right, next movement is our sumo squats. Setting those feet a little bit wider, chest is broad, shoulders back and down. When you're into it, we're going into that sumo. Remember to keep those toes pointed slightly out so that we can open up through that hip and start to work through those adductors which are in between the legs to those inner thighs. Good, knees are out. Adjust that range if you need to. And if you want to elevate, remember you've got some weights around the house holding onto something at the chest and come down towards those heels. All right, so final movement, third round, final movement, those lateral raises, sitting tall, shoulders pinned back, down, starting by your sides. When you're into it, our 40 seconds here, rising up through those hands, squeezing through those shoulder blades to keep that shoulders back. And as we elevate, remember we are working through the outside top of the shoulder through our deltoids. Doing really well, starting to feel a little bit of that burn. That is what we are after. Keep those shoulders down, keep them pinned back, rising those hands up. Congratulations, you just completed strength work at number one of week two. Next session that we're gonna get into is a balance session, really focusing on full body cognitive ability to balance on one leg and something that's very transferable into your everyday life. See you there.